Hello everyone, welcome to another Lessons from Leo. So my name is Julianne Thorne, I'm a holistic cat therapist and soul activator for Cat Guardians and my mission is giving cats a voice. Every week I go live and I connect with uh, Leo and um, share with you his words of wisdom through uh, cat communication. I am an empath so I'm able to find his frequency and to receive the guidance that he has to share with everybody. For those of you that uh, watch this every week, we'll see that we don't actually have Leo this week. We've got Baby Max, who is my other cat. I opened up my folder. I've got Baby Max stuff on my face. I opened up my folder of pictures of the boys and straight away was drawn to this picture. And it's almost like I can feel Baby Max like bouncing around in the background, like really excited to be with you all this week. So We've got lessons from Leo, uh, which, you know, we've got baby Max. So uh, let's see what he has to share with you all. Just give me a second. And a gorgeous boy. <laughs> it's really interesting. Baby Max's energy is so different to Leo's. Leo is very wise and very not regal but very very deep very very yeah wise is the best way to describe it it's like he's a really old known soul that's that's the best words I have to describe how his energy feels baby max is like the complete opposite and it's interesting because his name is max maximus and I've always called him Baby Max. And in the, my upcoming uh, chakra, cat chakra book, he's referred to as Baby Max. And Max just doesn't feel like his name. Max feels too big for him, whereas Baby Max feels like the right name for him. Now, Baby Max is with me to bring me joy. That's one of the soul contracts that we have together. I got him at a very difficult time in my personal life. I doubted and questioned why on earth I was dealing with a kitten at that stage, but it it everything happens as it's meant to. This picture of him, he's on his shelf bed, which is a literally a shelf that's in my bedroom on my wall. And I kind of lie in bed and he's up here and every night I say goodnight, obviously to Leo on, and his igloo on the landing as well. But baby Max is, he's all about fun. He, he's just so joyful. It's just joy and love and high vibrational energy. And as soon as I connected with him, he was like, it, it's all fun, mum. And, and the first thing he says to me is, it's about change. So I'm sat here thinking, you know, it should be Leo. And I don't like the word shoulds. For those of you in the um, Become a Soul-Led Cat Guardian program with me, we don't use the word should. The more we that we use the word should, the more we recognize how we can change that word because where do shoulds come from? So I'm sat here thinking, oh gosh, you know, it should be Leo. And baby Max is like, no mum, change. Life is all about change. And that's what he wants to share today. So he says to me that life isn't linear. You know, love and feelings and the human experience, life is just not linear. And as much as we, we might like to think that we have control over something, control is really an illusion. Control is something that we try to think that we have or feel that we have to feel safe. You know, life is unpredictable and sometimes things happen and we may not understand why. And it may be quite hurtful and upsetting for us. But within all of that, there are lessons. There are lessons about growth and evolution and your awakening. And baby Max is here today because he was very, he's very clear that I connect with Leo every week, but things change. Today, it's him. It needs to be him. It's meant to be him. It feels right that it's him. And his message is that things change and you can't control it. And the more that you struggle and feel into this isn't how I wanted it to be. I don't understand why it's this way. I wanted it to go this way. It should be this. Oh, that's a reminder to do my lessons from Leo. The, the more you will suffer, the more you will feel pain and struggle because that's not the way it is. And Baby Max is very much about 
accepting the, the finding the joy in any moment finding a space to feel love or gratitude or acceptance and his energy and his wisdom come from a place of where are our, our souls are aligned what, what what our souls are aligned to so we are all beings we are beings of light we have a soul and i'm a soul in a human body baby max is a soul and he's in a cat body but at our core we are all the same we are made of light and that light feels in our bodies great you know when we are truly connected to our our souls it's about feeling that sense of knowing and that sense of peace and from baby max today it's really his message is really around when you find yourself in the struggle find a space for joy find a space for gratitude find a space to accept and find a sense of peace for where you are because the more that you come into your head and you have those thoughts about it shouldn't be this way I should be doing this I didn't want this to happen the more you will feel pain and that's not how we are meant to feel that's not what our soul that's not the vibration that we move at that our frequency is set at it, it's higher it's higher than that it's in the space of joy so this picture of baby max is again not he doesn't sleep like this. He generally sleeps with his arms hanging over the edge of the bed, which I don't understand how that's comfortable. Or oops, or he's curled up in the bed. I happened to get this picture. I think this is one of the first few times that he'd gone up into the shelf bed. And I don't have a particularly good iPhone. So the fact that this is quite a good in-focus picture was an absolute win. So baby Max, what else do you need to say? Have fun. Mm-hmm. Find the joy, what makes you smile. Be silly, be outrageous, be unpredictable. Let loose. Feel freedom. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> He's like, I'm off now. I need to go and find more joy. Thank you, buddy. Okay. So I hope that Baby Max's words today have given you some food for thought. I hope they've inspired you. Regardless of where you are in your life right now, we are all dealing with struggles. We are all dealing with things that feel heavy and hard. And some days they feel heavier and harder than others. Some days we can manage it, some days not so much. So wherever you are in the world and on your journey, what can you do? How can you find, how can you feel just a little piece of joy, just a little, little granule of sparkle, a little piece of peace. So I hope you've enjoyed the words today. Be sure to drop a comment below and let me know what, what, what have you done today to feel joyful? What has put a smile on your face? What has lifted your spirits? Have a good day, everyone. And don't forget today, find a little piece of joy to find that little bit of peace. Bye for now, everyone.